Good day everyone! I'm back with another amazing topic in science today. But before we proceed, let us have a recall of what we have learned last time. Can you still remember the things you have learned the previous episode? Let's see! Complete the following statement. Your guess is right. It's lithosphere. How about this? You're right. It's continental crust. How about this? You're right, it's oceanic grass. Now, try to identify the nine major lithospheric plates. I will give you time to think. Time is up. The nine major plates are African, Antarctic, Australian, Eurasian, Indian, Indo-Australian, North American, Pacific, and South American. Very good! In addition, there are also minor plates. Look at the illustration. What are some of the minor plates that you can see from the given picture? Can you give at least 5 minor plates? I will give you time to think. We have Nazca Plate, Scotia Plate, Juan de Fuca Plate, Cocos Plate, and the Philippine Plate. So there are relatively major plates and a number of minor plates including the Philippine Plate. Let us go now to our next objectives. First, determine the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. Second, Determine the scientific basis for dividing the lithospheric plates. Please analyze the figure. What can you see? Yes, it's a map of earthquake distribution. Can you describe the distribution of earthquake epicenters on the map? What can you say about the location of earthquake epicenters? Now, let me show you another picture. This time, it's a picture of the map of the active volcanoes. Can you describe the distribution of active volcanoes on the map? What can you say about the location? Let me show the last picture. What about it? Well, it's a map of mountain ranges in the world. Can you describe the distribution of mountain ranges in the world map? What can you say about the location? After analyzing the given pictures, can you share what you are thinking right now? Yes, most of the earthquakes originated or some mountains and volcanoes were formed mark the boundaries of each lithospheric plate. Let us now determine the scientific basis for dividing the lithospheric plates. 
occurrence of earthquake, volcanism, mountain formation, Alright, after determining the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts, and determining the scientific basis for dividing the little spirit plates, you may do a simple activity like this. Try to trace the earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and mountain ranges location using a marking pen on plastic sheets over the map. You can do it! Well, before I end this video, get your paper and pen and please answer this question. What is the significance of identifying areas prone to earthquake? Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you again in the next episode.